So we're back from a long trip of searching. guys so here we have it we finally found a freezer and we have a story that goes behind this so we're back from a long trip of searching for one of these freezers and if you guys have been trying to buy one here in the last few months you know what I'm talking about and we'll get into that here in a little bit but first I want to show you guys so we've we actually found um, from at Lowe's. It was at one of the Lowe's, the mini Lowe's that we called today. We called over five Lowe's stores. Every one of them was sold out. One of them got 20 shipments in Thursday, and they had uh, two left at this store that we went to. And as we were walking in, they were <laughs> wheeling one out, and I was like, "Oh, we got here too late." But anyways, we'll get into that here in a minute. Um, this one is a bigger stand-up freezer. I know a lot of people like the chest type freezers. We like the stand-up freezers because you don't have to dig through everything to, to find it and it kind of stays a little more organized. And after we butchered all those chickens here yeah. uh, about a month ago, go ahead and open that. Open them both up. Uh, these things are full. This is just a, a stand-up freezer. You can see it's pretty full. We got a lot of deer meat in there. We got some fish. We keep a few honey frames in there, stuff for the bees, and then of course all the chicken take up a lot of room. So we don't have a lot of room in there. And then in here, got some fish and a bunch of those chickens. Excuse the mess. Yeah, so these stay it out in our shop, and you never know what is going to end up in them. So a lot of times 
These are a little dirtier than they would be probably if they're in your house and they're out here in the dust and all the conditions. Garage. But this one here is a 17.7 .7 cubic feet freezer. I'll let the model show it off here. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see the difference in the spacing. We got a lot of space here down there at the bottom as well. And then look at these doors. I really like this model. So um, right now it's out here in our shop. We might actually move it to our garage. We're gonna go do some measuring. When we built the garage, we didn't really build it in mind of having a refrigerator or a freezer in there, although we could have it in there, but we store our firewood in there. We store about a half a rick every uh, fall. We load it up, and that way, if something bad happens, we always have dry firewood in our garage throughout the winter time for emergencies and such and we do heat our house with it in the when it gets really cold when we designed our house plan i didn't take into account being able to open the freezer right. door i thought oh that's a good place to put the freezer well yeah. you have to actually pull up pull your vehicle out to be able to open would yeah yeah we, we both have very large vehicles. Yeah. If we had little smaller vehicles, it wouldn't be a problem. So if you're building a house and doing your house yeah. plans, take into account that. But we we did have room, but we decided to put a sink and a tabletop yeah, in there, or a countertop in there. And that's something that we could still maybe put there in the on one of the walls in front of the sink or something, because we don't use it very often. So we might take that into consideration and do some, we'll do some measurements here in a little bit and we might move it into the garage. But we just wanted to get it unloaded I'm going to plug it in and make sure everything's working. I'll put some water in there and make sure it freezes and uh, maybe a digital thermometer or something. And uh, we'll check it just to make sure that it is working. And uh, we're very thankful we found it. So uh, let us get it plugged in and all that. We'll do our testing and let it sit a while. And uh, we're going to go talk about uh, this little adventure we went on. Okay, first test. We plugged it in. The LED light come on and the... Uh fan come on I can hear it so it's gonna take some while uh, take a while for it to start cooling so we're gonna leave it alone and I just noticed one thing about this model is you can put the uh, door to open on either side so that's really nice all right guys so we're gonna get into the story about the freezers um, like I said earlier if you guys have tried to buy any kind of freezer a chest freezer a stand-up freezer like we just bought you can't hardly find them and that I think that's nationwide um, I've been looking on Facebook, and I'm a member of a lot of groups, like homesteading groups, uh, pasture-raised pork groups, pasture-raised chicken groups, and a lot of friends and stuff that I know are having a... They can't find these things anywhere, like freezers. Everybody wants more freezer space because I think America finally woke up and realized, hey, we need to start raising our own food. We need to support our local farmers. If people can't raise their own food, they're going out and buying... And stockpiling some uh, fresh food. So right, making yeah, smart choices. Exactly. So Definitely. every store around here is sold out of freezers. We, like I said, we called. I think we called five low stores or six low stores this morning, and I've been checking every week, and they've Pawn been sold appliance. out. One of the biggest appliance stores in Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, where we got a lot of appliances for our house. We called there, and they actually had one. In stock but it was like a three point something cubic feet little bitty freezer and uh, that's not gonna work for our, for our operation and I showed you guys we already have a stand-up freezer it's not quite as big as the one we just bought it's almost as big and then we got a normal refrigerator freezer out here in our shop and then we got a fridge freezer in our house yeah tell them why we're needing the freezer space well you know we've been butchering our own animals trying to be more self-sufficient and stuff like that uh, we got goat meat in here, we got the chickens, the pork, fish, and deer, and uh, we're going to start butchering here in a couple months. We got, oh, how many hogs are we taking? Four hogs Four. to the processor. Uh, one is going to us, one's going to our parents are splitting one, they're mm -hmm. having one, and then uh, two awesome people that are, uh, I'd say that they're not really locals, uh, I think they both live in Tulsa. But they watch every one of our videos. They're awesome to us. You know who you are, so thank you so much. They purchased one of the hogs each. So although we probably won't be bringing that back here, we'll take it straight to their house after the uh, processing is done. Yes, as soon as we pick it up, it will be going to them. But one thing that we want to start doing is if we need to just butcher a goat or a pig here on the farm for whatever reason, at least we'll have the room now 
to do that and if we had our pig processed today and brought it home uh you know a 300 pound hog you probably get back about 100 and i don't know 150 60 70 pounds of meat you, we wouldn't have the room in our freezer or anything that we have right now and we like to keep a good amount of uh farm raised meat in our freezers you know we eat it all the time and then if our family's ever in need we can help them out or friends we can right. barter with it all kinds of stuff so the possibilities are endless and this new freezer just helped us out a ton uh it'll help us kind of uh live our dreams a little more from our goals that we're wanting to do and the holidays are coming up we uh we like to provide some meat for different things for those right and, little uh, get togethers yeah we might we might end up butchering a turkey too and turkey you know weighs yeah. 20 pounds butchered or whatever that was kind of our goal with the turkeys yeah. i wanted to be able to raise a turkey and be able to serve it for thanksgiving right so but that was why we wanted to just yeah. make we didn't have any intentions on making this video but after the struggles of we've actually been looking for freezers for a month for months uh, i put ads on craigslist i put ads on facebook i just posted one on my private facebook page and nobody even has a used one for sale um i have got online and i have found some used ones and the prices are just as much as a new one so it did not make sense to go that route and that way we know this is coming from a clean house well it didn't come from a house at all but <laughs> clean warehouse know, that's something that, that's something that you have to take in consideration when you're buying second hand okay <laughs> what kind of house did it come out of so yeah that just kind of eases my mind to an extent it's clean and you don't have to worry even about though it's nothing. coming out here to this dirty shop building <laughs> <laughs> we i know, know where what's it's out been. here though <laughs> But yeah, uh, the pandemic is real. Uh, I talked to the Lowe's people. They said, yeah, we got 20 of these in on Thursday and we have two left today. So that was two days ago. Yes. They sold 18 within 48 hours. So that is crazy. Um, I said, can I pay for one over the phone? And they said, no. I don't know if you guys can see Mojo or hear him breathing. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, yeah, let's hear your guys' comments. Have you guys tried to look for a freezer? Or anything else it's just like going to Walmart or anywhere else where the shelves are bare and I asked the workers I said why are these uh, freezers so hard to get and just like I was telling you guys I tried to pay I tried to pay them over the phone I said hey can I pay for it over the phone and I will come and pick it up immediately they said no uh, these are in such high demand our management has told us to not take any form of payment on these you have to come first come first serve right. only so uh that is how crazy it is so when we got to lowe's though yeah when we got you... to lowe's we're walking in and i'm like pretty much leaving them behind because i know how real the struggle he is, is like booking it and as soon as i walk in the door they are wheeling one out and uh i went He's back like, oh, there there went our freezer <laughs> there there's no workers in the whole appliance section and i'm freaking out and i'm like hey i finally found find some ladies working in like the countertop section I said, do you guys work in appliances? They said, uh-oh, you're here for a freezer, aren't you? I said, yeah. Uh, well, they just sold one. I don't know if there's any left. So they called the guys on the phone. Well, they were out front loading it, so they finally come back there. And I said, hey, I called about a freezer a little bit ago. You guys said you wouldn't hold it, blah, blah, blah. But I got aggravated because one of them said, uh, yeah, put that other one back. Hold it for this other guy. And that's when you said, uh, well, I tried to pay for one over the phone and they wouldn't hold it for me and right. i'm like oh really yeah but luckily it worked out yeah and uh my mom actually bought this freezer for us so thank you so much mom we appreciate that yes thank you uh we owe them a lot of chicken so i hope you guys this freezer is full because we're going to be bringing some to you and like i said earlier uh we are giving my parents and rachel's parents both we're splitting a hog between them so they better be getting some room in their freezer because that'll Emptied be quite out, a bit of meat yeah thanks again mom and dad appreciate yes, that yes thank you and um <clears throat> you know this is like everything else the freezers this is something that you guys including us never seen some of you might have uh, seen this in the past but when something like this happens to our country or your local area say a hurricane comes in or whatever stuff like this is like the first things to go um toilet paper whoever would have thought toilet paper i mean it's just it's crazy we don't get into all the politics no, and all that stuff on our channel and you know we're definitely not spreading fear so don't no. even go there with that but we're just 
making you realize, okay, if you're looking for these things, you need to be on the hunt because so is everyone else. Exactly. And another thing is kind of funny. My mom wanted me to look for a trampoline for the kids. Well, guess what? Every store I've looked at online is sold out of trampolines. It has been. For months. I've yep. looked for months. And it could be because a lot of these products are coming from China and maybe something with that. Well, and people are home in, but... more now. Yeah. So they're looking for outlets, you know, to do outdoor activities. So stuff like that you would have never thought would have been sold out is completely sold out. But in my honest opinion, I, I see this as a, uh, a positive thing because it's telling me that more Americans are trying to be more self-sufficient and more of aware of the future and the bad things that can come. So if you're one of these people, good job. Uh, try to always stay a step ahead. Yes. Storing, storing fruit, food in your freezer, that is one way to ensure that your family will have food. As long as there's electric, of course, but then there's ways to uh, keep that going as well. We won't get into that. But right. anyways, we just wanted to make this uh, video and show you guys we're... We're super happy that we came across this freezer we've been looking for a while. So. Yes, and thank you for Mimi and Papa for yep, thank you guys. providing that. We're not used to getting uh, gifted things like that or yeah, provided awesome. those large items. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm a little, definitely helps. I'm a little emotional. I'm very thankful. Yep. So skeeters after something. So, anyways, guys, we'll we'll wrap up this video. Uh, I know it's a little different video, but we just wanted to share it with you. It's part of our life, and that's what yep. vlogging is, right? <laughs> so. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment and tell us something that you have had a hard time finding. And uh, you got anything? No, nope. thank you for watching. We appreciate it. See you guys. See ya.